in this video we're going to take a look at expanding and simplifying so here we are given two single brackets um, we're asked to add these things together and in the exam it will tell us to expand and simplify so what that means is to expand both the brackets by multiplying them out and then collect all of the like terms so 3 multiplied by a is going to give us 3a 3 multiplied by positive 8 is going to give us uh, positive positive 24 then expand this bracket here 2 multiplied by 3a so note here that it's plus 2 multiplied by 3a so that's going to give me plus 6a then plus 2 multiplied by negative 1 that's going to give me negative 2 so now let's collect all of the like terms together so let's collect our a's together how many a's have we got in total we've got 9 a's in total then we've got this plus 24 and this negative 2 so plus 24 minus 2 that's going to leave us with positive 22 so our final answer there would be 9a plus 22 so <clears throat> second example again let's just expand our brackets first 5 multiplied by 2a that's going to give me 10a 5 multiplied by positive b that's going to give me positive 5b then positive 3 multiplied by 5a that gives us positive 15a and then the last one 3 multiplied by negative 2b gives us negative 6b now we just need to simplify this by collecting the like terms together so let's collect our a's first 10a plus 15a so I've got 10a plus 15a that gives me 25a then I've got positive 5b and negative 6b positive 5b minus 6b that's going to just give me minus 1b or I could just write that as minus b last example we need to be careful on this one and we'll talk about why in just a moment Two. so let's start with this first bracket and expand it so 2 multiplied by 3a that gives me 6a then 2 multiplied by negative 1 that just gives me minus 2 now this bit in the middle I've got negative 4 in the middle so I'm actually going to be when I expand this second bracket I'm going to be doing minus 4 multiplied by 2a that's going to give me negative 8a then I'm going to be doing minus 4 multiplied by negative 3 that's going to give me well negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 if I'm multiplying two negative numbers it's going to give me a positive answer so it's going to give me positive 12 so now let's collect our like terms like we were in the last couple of examples so 6a minus 8a that's going to be so I'm on 6a minus 8a that's going to take me all the way down to negative 2a then I've got negative 2 plus 12 so minus 2 plus 12 and so I'm going to have positive 10 so our final answer there would be negative 2a plus 10